Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today, Mackenzie and I are headed to Hobby Lobby. We wanna check out all the new items for spring, so come along with us. Okay friends, now just a few things before we head out. First off, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jennifer, and I have four kids that are eight, you're eight now, right? Mm -hmm. And under. And sometimes it's hard to find some one-on-one -on -one time with the kids. So tonight we're taking advantage of some free time, and I'm taking Mackenzie with me. I love going to Hobby Lobby, do you love it? Yeah. I love to look at all the home decor. It's really peaceful, especially if we don't take all the kids with us. So we're gonna have a special mommy-daughter evening right mm -hmm. now i know hobby lobbies had their spring decor out for quite a while but typically i like to wait to when things go to 40 percent off because i like a bargain now i know a lot of you don't have hobby lobbies near you so i'm so excited to take you shopping with us today so we'll show you everything that is cute fun or interesting and then when we get back home we'll show you what we ended up buying right yeah okay let's go Okay guys, I'm totally pulled over now, so don't worry about that, but I just had to show you this beautiful sunset that we're having right now. It is gorgeous, but we're losing our light, and we don't want to be gone past dinner time, so let's head to Hobby Lobby. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, we haven't even made it in the store. We already found something that we love. It's this big pink flamingo. It's Let's see how much it is. Me. It's $79.99. It's taller than me. Yeah, it is. But you know what I really like is this. I love the look of this. The shelf and the baskets and the plants. Look it. I'll just take it all, please. I really like these ones. They're sort of a rose gold and gold color. Those are pretty. This one's my favorite. <laughs> Very nice. I also really like these little craft kits. I'm not super crafty, but my kids like to do craft, so when I get things like this, it makes it really easy. And quite often we bring crafts to co-op and activities, so I like to bring kits like this and make it easy for myself. They also have so many things for dyeing Easter eggs, and I think that this is really interesting. This is a little egg stand, so you can put your eggs there as they dry, and you can display them. That's a really cute idea. And all of these things are 40% off as well. They have a lot of these egg dyeing kits as well, but I really want to try to use some natural dyes this year just to see if it works or not. Ooh, golden shimmer. I do love that one. <laughs> They also have a tie-dye one and a high gloss. Those are really shiny. Check out all the fun pinwheels. Now they also have a lot of St. Patrick's Day things as well, although you'll notice they're only 30% off. All of the Easter stuff is 40% off, so that's curious. But I love decorating for St. Patrick's Day. I don't go overboard, just a few things here and there. I especially love these signs. They say, not lucky, just very blessed. And check out all the fun leprechauns and the shamrocks. Those are so cute. I dedicate this one to my husband. I'm definitely lucky to have him. Yes? I got you these. Ooh, what are they? Oh, cu oh cupcake papers. <gasps> these are so cute. I love to get these to use for our special lunches. Yes, those are adorable. Definitely put those in. Okay. I already have enough liners. They also have a lot of St. Patrick's Day crafts as well. I think these little pom-pom guys are so funny. And there's a little leprechaun hat. I know Mackenzie and Lily would love these. Did you find some glasses? Yeah. Those are funny. I found the St. Patrick's Day washi tape. Isn't that cute? Next to Mackenzie's favorite thing, the feather boa. What do you think? Do you feel fancy? Yeah. Those things always make me sneeze. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need some napkins too. These are really cute. How much are these? $4.99? Mm, I think the Dollar Tree probably a better choice. Check out this aisle. It is jam-packed with all things Easter. What'd you find? I found Beanie Boos. Oh, the Easter Beanie Boos. Okay, let's find out what their names are. This one is Dixie, and the bunny is Lollipop. Those are adorable. On a scale of one to 10, I'd probably get this one. You like the bunny? Yeah. Yeah, those are cute. 
They also have so many plastic eggs of all colors. Again, I think you might find some better deals at the Dollar Tree. Lots of Easter grass. I've kind of banned Easter grass from my house though. It's just too messy, I'm not a big fan. And they have so many baskets. Plastic ones, metal ones, so many kinds. Now these are actually very similar to ones that I saw at the Dollar Tree. And these are marked $6.99, although you do get 40% off. But if you can find the ones at the Dollar Tree, definitely scoop them up. They also have lots of candy. But again, I think you're going to get a better deal at Walmart or your grocery store. Not the best price here. Now I know this isn't Easter or spring necessarily, but I always like to check the clearance sections because you can find some really good deals. I pretty much love everything in this entire store though. Oh look, there's one more section of Easter things. I was actually looking for something for the front door and I really like this one. They had this last year, but I didn't buy it. So maybe, maybe. Look at all the little bunnies. Those are cute, but a little bit creepy if you ask me. I dedicate this one to my friend Fallon because she loves all of the truck things. The truck with the Christmas tree, the truck with the pumpkins. We had a truck with hearts and now a truck with the eggs. It's so cute. There are so many cute signs here. I love that one. I love that one. I love that one. I'll just take one of everything. Now I'm noticing a lot of these items are the same that they had last year. In fact, I bought this one last year. I should definitely take it out of storage and put it out. I think I bought that one last year too. I totally have forgotten what I bought last year. We need to go find the bin. Okay guys, it's getting late and my battery on the camera is almost dead. So we're gonna head home and then we'll show you what we picked up. Okay friends, now we've been back from Hobby Lobby for quite a while, but we had to do dinner and then clean up and then bedtime. And now we're finally getting around to showing you what we got. Okay guys, so I just picked up a few decor items for St. Patrick's Day. I don't usually put out a lot of stuff, but I really enjoy the holiday, so I definitely wanted to pick these guys up today. First, I got this really cute sign that says, lucky to have you. This one just made me think of my husband as soon as I saw it. And just so you guys know, our anniversary is the day before St. Patrick's Day. And so St. Patrick's Day also makes me think of my anniversary and my husband, and so this just, spoke to me. This was marked $4.99 and it was 30% off. All of the St. Patrick's Day things were 30% off, but the Easter stuff um, was actually 40, so that was a better deal. Next up, I got this really cute banner. This is burlap with the little shamrocks on there. I love to put different um, banners across my mantle and my fireplace area for different holidays. So this one's pretty simple, but cute. And then I also picked up one of these little shamrocks this um, can stand up just like that. This was only $2.99 and of course 30% off. Now Mackenzie's gonna show you what we got next. It's sprinkles! Yep, we got lots of St. Patrick's Day sprinkles. And I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna make with these, but some kind of fun treat for sure. And lastly for St. Patrick's Day, I also picked up this really cute leprechaun hat craft. This was $7.99 and of course 30% off, and this makes 24, so she can take it to her St. Patrick's Day co-op party, and all the kids can have fun making it, hopefully. It looks pretty easy. Now I do have to show you one more thing for St. Patrick's Day that I didn't actually get at Hobby Lobby. I found this guy at Michael's, but I was just in love with it, so I definitely picked it up, and I wanna show it to you anyway. Let's see, it has lights just like that, and it can stand up on its own, so you can put it on a shelf. And this was $19.99, but this was 40% off at Michael's. So now I'll go ahead and show you what we got from Hobby Lobby for Easter. We're gonna start with the kids' stuff first. That's right. So, like I said, I love these little craft kits from Hobby Lobby. We picked up this one which is a cute little bunny face kit. This was $4.99 for 24, or you can make 24 of them. And then this one is a lamb dress up kit. So I know Lily will enjoy this, Jackson. I like to give the kids projects like this when I'm trying to get my work done. We also picked up two of these clean and easy Easter coloring, what are these called? Easter egg coloring. They're like tongs, yes, they're tongs. So you can easily get your egg out of the dye when you're making Easter eggs. Last year we only had one of these and it was not good. We definitely need two for our size family. 
And then I also picked up some crazy straws. These will definitely be going into some Easter themed lunches in the future. Those are just so fun. I also picked up some really cute cupcake picks. Mackenzie actually picked these out. There were a lot of different cute choices, but we went with the bunny one. And I also ended up getting this egg stand for making Easter eggs. We love to make Easter eggs as a family and I think this will make it really fun and easy to display them or just somewhere to put them as they're drying. This was $3.99 and again, 40% off, so that's pretty good. And lastly, we have sort of our big ticket item. This was definitely the most expensive item, yet it was only $19.99 and again, 40% off, so not too bad. They had a lot of cute Easter wreaths there today, but I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more simple and elegant, I would say, although it's kind of rustic as well. I really like that look these days. So I'm thinking this is gonna go on my front door, or maybe in my hallway, somewhere like that. This is just really cute, love it. Okay, friends, that is everything in our haul today. Thank you for coming along with us. That's right, we had a lot of fun. Let us know in the comments down below out of everything we showed you today, either in our haul or in the store, which item was your favorite. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.